No matter what innovations come and go, what new form factors we can experience, there is always going to be those that prefer their tech a certain way. We can see that right now with the evolution of dual screen smartphones that is happening. There are going to be those that prefer a single screen smartphone. The same can be said for PCs now. Some prefer a desktop setup with a separate monitor. Uh, some have come to love the innovation of two-in-ones and we are at the very early stages of seeing two-in-one dual screen computers as well. My point is there is a lot of love for the traditional clamshell laptop, which brings us to this. This is the Samsung Galaxy Book Ion. Before we begin, as ever, this is an overview video for this device. We're going to try and stick to the facts, the positives, and who it might be for, rather than delving too much into personal opinion. We'll try at least. On this channel, we have looked at a Samsung 2-in-1 laptop, which is all singing and all dancing. We've seen their mobile approach uh, with a laptop that is super thin and light and a real modern interpretation of what Windows 10 can be. So what is the Galaxy Book Ion all about? It's not a two-in-one, it doesn't have a touchscreen, and it is by many standards a traditional laptop. The difference is that this is what a traditional laptop looks like when it's modernized. For starters, this is a 15-inch model, and for those who have had 15-inch laptops or larger over the years, you come to expect a certain weight and size. This frankly takes that expectation and really smashes it a bit. For a 15-inch laptop, this is light really light. It weighs just 1.19 kilograms. So we end up with a large screen laptop which doesn't feel like an effort to carry around. Sticking to the theme of modernized tradition, uh, if you watched our unboxing video, you will have seen that this has a nice array of ports for the majority of users. We have two USB-A ports, an expansion card slot, a headphone jack, and a HDMI port as well. As well as that, you also get a Thunderbolt 3 port, which uh, gives you a bit of future-proofing uh, if you need faster transfer speeds in the future or using certain external devices. All of that is packed into this slick package which has got this gorgeous blue bar across the back which doubles up as uh, how it kind of holds the laptop up when you uh, lift open the screen. And it's also got this Aura Silver design. So it has a hue to it where depending on how the light hits the laptop, it changes color. This might not come out very well on camera. I'm hoping it does. Um, if it doesn't, just take our word for it. It is really pretty. So just from that, if you prefer a traditional laptop setup, already we might be ticking some boxes, but we are nowhere near done, so let's get into it. Once we lift the lid up, we are greeted by this simply stunning display. Uh, as with the Galaxy Book Flex, this features a 1920 by 1080 full HD QLED display. So in true Samsung fashion, colors just pop from the screen. In fact, uh, for the Galaxy Book range in general, the screen has got to be one of the top call out points. Uh, it just sucks you in and is a joy to look at. Uh, this panel in particular, so we have these slim bezels around the side and it is VDE certified for 100% color volume. Uh, when it comes to the brightness as well, there is an outdoor mode. Uh, you can activate it with a shortcut of FN and F11, I believe, uh, and it goes up to 600 nits of brightness. And future Adam confirms this to be the case. We have Windows Hello fingerprint recognition. It is very easy to spot as this giant blue, bright blue key in the middle here. Nice and easy to log on. Uh, remember as well that within Windows settings, uh, you can set up passwordless login uh, so that you can only ever get into the device via fingerprint or pin. So it just gives you that extra layer of security. Now, 15-inch displays are great for productivity. You have that increased spacing, so putting windows side by side using the snap feature feels way more natural. And it also fits in nicely if you're gonna be plugging into an external display. Again, no touch panel here, but the trackpad itself is nice and large. Plus, if you're the type two plug in at a desk, you may well have a Bluetooth mouse that you wanna use, uh, or a wired one at a desk using the USB-A ports that we have here. So with all that, you can look like your very best productivity wizard. 
If we look at the keyboard, the biggest difference between this and the rest of the Galaxy Book range is the addition of this number pad here, which you'd expect to see on a device of this size. Uh, we have this backlit lattice keyboard, and in this model, apparently, keycap wobbling has been reduced when compared to older models, giving you enhanced accuracy. The keycaps themselves are also 10% larger than older models, and as we've already said, that trackpad is nice and large and also has wireless power share built in so you can charge your phone. Again, that sort of functionality really makes sense uh, in a desk environment though then again if you've got a laptop say on a kitchen counter you might be watching a step-by-step -step food guide something that I have definitely done uh, and you're not going to be using the trackpad are you so you can just pop your phone down let it charge whilst the video plays and you use the space bar to pause it it really makes sense in those instances future Adam and whilst we're talking hardware still it's worth mentioning the AKG stereo speakers which we've seen across the galaxy bit range and are here as well along with that support for Dolby Atmos for many years Windows has been on a bit of a journey. I mean, journey is it possible never to like your own voice? Before we carry on, it should be mentioned that this does come with its own power adapter, though you can also charge it via the Thunderbolt 3 port as well. You just need to make sure that you're using the right wattage so that you don't kill your battery, which, you know, is never ideal. In fact, just in general, just don't overcharge your batteries, man. They'll die. Let's get into the specs then. This device has a 10th generation Intel Core i5 with 8GB of RAM and a 512GB NVMe SSD. Uh, the processor alone is great. Office apps like Word, PowerPoint and Excel will be a breeze here. Uh, spreadsheets especially are great as it's a 15 inch screen. It's the whole point of having these larger screens is that you've got more screen real estate to look at what's important. Uh, we were able to open up some creative applications as well and get some cool bits done. QR plug for Microsoft 365 uh, where you can get access to partner benefits, including at the time of this recording, uh, three months access to Adobe applications like Photoshop, uh, which is what we used here. This is generally the theme when it comes to the Galaxy Book range. Uh, they are good for quick edits on the move, especially for social media stuff with them being very easy to carry around as well. If I use uh, a personal example, this one time, uh, a lot of the Photoshop stuff that I do uh, is for social posts uh, and definitely thumbnails as well, like the one featured on this video. And for stuff like that, it works great. We're always gonna be honest here, professionals, you're probably gonna be using something that's got a lot more heavy duty power, uh, but for on the move, creating at home, this does a really great job. Another advantage to the hardware is that the Galaxy Book Ion is expandable. So this has room for an additional NVMe SSD, as well as a slot for additional DDR4 memory. Now, it's not recommended that you do this yourself. Uh, if you wanna do this, you're best going to an authorized service center uh, to have it done. The key here is that you have that option if you wish to expand on your storage and on the performance itself. Now we've spoken about it before on this channel and that is how Samsung Galaxy phones uh, interact with your Galaxy Book via the Your Phone app. Uh, you do have Samsung DeX which enables you to plug in compatible Samsung phones and use it in a desktop format, uh, but we're gonna be focusing on the Windows Your Phone app specifically here. The big advantage with having one of the latest range of Samsung smartphones is that you unlock the ability to screen share. So you can have your phone on your PC or you should leave your phone in your pocket, in your bag, or if you're using an external mouse, you can even leave it on the trackpad to charge up via that wireless power sharing. This is something that we only see with Samsung Galaxy phones like the Note 20 Ultra here. You do have your phone compatibility with other Android devices, but at the time of filming, screen sharing itself is reserved for the latest Samsung phones and of course the Surface Duo. There are some really cool things that you can do here. Of course, there is the ability to open up any app and use it just like it was on your phone, uh, but you can also copy text and images uh, directly from the PC and paste them into your smartphone and vice versa. Uh, same goes for file sharing as well. So if you use a compatible file, such as a photo for instance, you can transfer it just by dragging and dropping it into the Your Phone app. The Your Phone app for Windows itself uh, will also change orientation if you put the phone sideways. Plus you can navigate the touchscreen gesture controls of the phone via your mouse cursor. But that is that. That was an overview of the Galaxy Book Ion. Uh, do make sure to check out our other overviews of the Galaxy Book Flex and the Galaxy Book S on this channel. Do subscribe uh, for when we do more. Please subscribe, really appreciate it if you subscribe. Uh, and yeah, get the bell on for notifications on all our new content coming out. That is that for today. Thanks for watching. See you soon.